Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of the Cotswolds PX Cask Distillery Exclusive. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of the Cotswolds PX Cask Distillery Exclusive. This particular whiskey I picked up myself from the distillery back in November 2021. If you haven't already seen it, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out my visit to the distillery. This particular whiskey retailed for $84.95. It's 60.5% ABV and it's cask number 205. Shall we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the colour. I'd say that is like a russet, really is a nice colour. Start with the nose. So interestingly enough, the first note that jumps out at me is citrus. It's like um, an orange zest. I'm getting a hint of nail polish remover. I'm getting some shortbread biscuit. I'm getting some red currants, slightly tangy. I'm also getting raisins. And there's also, yeah, there's also a hint of juniper. Let's move on to the palette. So obviously this is quite punchy being 60% ABV, well 60.5%. So it is quite punchy. Obviously it isn't the sort of thing that you want to um, take a sip of as your sort of first dram. But there is a really rich, oily, creamy texture. There's like milk chocolate that has that sort of creamy uh, texture as well. There's Lots of soaked dark fruits, you know, sort of very Christmassy. Reminds me of the sort of, you know, the mince pies, the Christmas cake, that sort of thing. Um, it's, yeah, really is rich and fruity as you'd probably expect from a, a PX finished or PX cask whiskey. Let's have another sip. Yeah, so carrying on from the, um, the sort of juicy fruitiness of this, it reminds me also of like a, like a rich fruit pie. I'm getting like cherries and other sort of like stone fruits like in pastry in a pie because I'm getting like biscuit note. I'm getting like a malted barley note. And um, yeah, it really is, really is quite nice. There's... Also like a almond like marzipan note in there as well, which is nice. And um, yeah, a little bit of nuttiness. Um, yeah, really, really is, as flavors go, that's a really nice combo that, that, that works really well on the palate with this. Let's have one final sip. Yeah, so there is like an underlying sort of flavour that is definitely Cotswolds with this. It definitely has that DNA that you'd expect, even though it's aged for five years uh, in a PX cask or PX sherry bar. I'm getting a little bit of orchard fruits and a good sort of kick of barrel spice as well with this. In terms of finish, I'd say it's very long. There's like rich jam, there's heat, there's vanilla, there's also cloves and um, a little bit of cinnamon. In terms of value, well, as I said, this was 84.95 at the distillery. 
I did get 10% off, so it made it even better. But as far as I'm aware, the hand fills, especially the sherry hand fills that the distillery are doing and have now gone up in price, possibly to help pay for their new distillery. They've got a much bigger distillery on site at the Cotswolds and it's somewhere that I'd definitely go back and visit. But is this good value? Well, I think the fact that it is car strength, it is um, natural color, it is non-chill filtered. You obviously get the experience of pouring it yourself and they stick the labels on right in front of you. You know, I, I think that experience does warrant a premium, but I think when you compare what I paid for this versus what you know the distillery puts out as their special editions, this isn't yeah, this isn't far off. It's it's in that ballpark. So I don't think it's massively expensive. Obviously, when you compare it to other English whiskies, I think it's definitely in that same ballpark as well. It's obviously something you can't get anymore. They've now run out of this. Cask 205 was going for quite some time, as far as I'm aware, uh, at the distillery. But obviously, they will have something new for visitors when you go now. So, unfortunately, you can't get this one again, but it's definitely a good sort of production uh, of whiskey that they've put together for people to take away that you can't go and buy in the shop, something unique. And I think as long as they keep putting out liquid like this, that is pretty powerful. You know, it's, it's at cast strength, it's from a decent cask. I think people won't be disappointed. And obviously it's a great reason to visit the, the distillery. It's one that I'd highly recommend and if you get the chance, then please do. I'll put a link in the description to the Cotswolds Distillery if you want to check them out. And hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Stauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.